Alright, what is going on, you beautiful people of the world? We're starting off with a big boy. There's a lot of points. I need to untilt. I just played Gundam Versus, and I did not have a good time. <laughs> the connection, like the first two weeks, the connections were great. Or not the first two weeks, the first... The first two times I played it, it was great. And then I played at the tail end last week, and now this week. Very nice whiff punish. Well done, good neutral. Oh, my God, just got caught low. I wonder why she's standing up. Oh, no. That's not good. Gets caught low twice, then just didn't respect the assault. And now you're, you're getting, uh... You're getting new Good blocks. He was expecting her to stand up again, for sure. Woo, what a call out. She was across the screen and he just went and did it. Can he cancel out on whiff? Get the second, like, his, his DP. I caught low. He's dead. Oh, no. Ori, don't fuck this up. Good pressure. Keeps it all safe. Surprised she hasn't gone for the overhead yet. He called that out so early with nice DP. The blocks. Oh, but just stood up again. Oh shit. This is, my, this is me showing that I was just playing Gundam because the webcam's still there. Almost forgot to change it. Dude, this man is calling out those 236As. Ooh. That DP is really good against Ori. But yeah, can he cancel that on whiff? So if the first hit whiffs, can he still go into the second hit? Most of the time, you can't do that with DPs. But there are exceptions. That sucks. That really sucks. He gets a full, yeah, full hit confirmed. Still has that frozen bit on her. Good DP again. Why did you jump? Oh. <sighs> did he ever not land? I feel like he landed every DP he threw out. Just called it out. You're a fighting game player playing online. I know you're gonna mash. You know you're gonna mash. <laughs> Enjoy eating these DPs. <laughs> but yeah, I just I had a really bad time with Gundam versus. Cause it was one of those things that like, I mean I mentioned this in the video, but most people aren't watching that video, so I'm gonna mention it again here. You know it's a team based game, and so your enjoyment of it is going to be directly correlated to how good your teammate is. You have a bad teammate, you're gonna have a bad time. Damn, I can't believe she jumped. Like, after seeing that, she should have known that was coming soon. Nice 3C. That's a lot of damage. Should have probably seen that coming. A Batista getting pressured that hard in the corner. Oh, oh, oh no! That is so tragic. Interesting. I wonder if she messed up. If she used, like, the wrong DP. I'm conf I mean, that should have just been an instant DP. There we go. Oh, super cancel though? Get called out. She dead. She dead. Gotta super cancel those, man. That was just like, Batista got called out, then Wagner got called out, then Batista got called out, then it ended with Wagner getting called out. <laughs> that has such a big hitbox. Whiff throw, pause, stare deeply, lovingly into their eyes, then throw again. We're really gonna end this on a Batista perfect? Shit. I regret coming to this match. Man! I don't come here, I don't boot this up to untilt so Batista can win. It's not why I'm here. Now I can't risk watching that one, because if Phonon wins after Batista... After Batista wins, I'll just throw myself out my window. It won't do much, because it's ground floor, but I'll still do it. You ever have those thoughts? Those curiosities? Those random bouts of insanity? Like, I do that. I, I was, I'm always thinking, like, if I had to, could I throw myself through that window? Could I, like, punch through that car window? That kind of stuff. I always want to know. I can't. Because obviously, it's moderately illegal. 
If it's not illegal, it's at least cost. Like, I'm sure you could actually probably... If it's your property, you can legally do whatever the hell you want to it, but it's gonna cost a hell of a lot of money to fix. It's just not worth it. But I still want to know, you know? Can I do that? Because I know, like, with car windows these days, it's basically impossible to punch through them just because of how they're made. Like, older car windows is pretty easy. It's, I mean, it's gonna fuck you up your hand regardless. But they're made differently now to be far less likely to shatter. Where now, even if you see, like, if there's an emergency or something, so people have to, like, kick out the front window. The front window doesn't break. It doesn't shatter. They kick it out of its frame before the window itself breaks. It, get, it cracks. It never breaks. It never shatters. I shouldn't say never. If you, like, hit it with a hammer or you throw, like, a rock through it, that works. It was a weird conversation to have in the middle of this match, but honestly, I feel like nothing's really happened. Like... Wow, that really combo. I thought that was an Oki setup. That's embarrassing. Still got the win regardless, but that was super awkward. <laughs> Damn, look at the pixelation along Hilda's legs. I've never seen that before. That's what happens when you get a better monitor, man. Start noticing the faults and things. Ooh, she actually got hit by that. That's tragic. This is gonna hurt a little bit. And finish it with another super. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Duh, you can do that too. Much smarter than just doing a normal super. Good tech. Good punish. Hilda definitely should have relaxed when she saw that move whiff, I think. Ooh, ooh! I don't think that was a setup. At all, but it worked out. It was a good hit confirm off of it. Oh, I like this Murakami color. Not going well for Murakami. Oh, okay, there we go. Missed the uh, Assault Ford. That full screen overhead. Nobody ever sees the full screen overhead coming. <laughs> I don't think she wanted to dash under like that. Got punished for it. Now she's in a really bad spot. Not gonna die. It's gonna be rough. Remarkably slow. Oh my god, that's a flex. Three times in a row and this Elthum is so petrified by the monster humping the ground in front of her that she doesn't know what to do and just loses. <laughs> Kama doesn't really block, does he? <laughs> Why did that even manage to hit her? Because it didn't hit her crouching, it just counter hit her. I wonder what she tried to do. Bad spot. Oh, she just got hit, but it didn't hit confirm it. Wow. That did a lot of damage really quickly. Well, that's the piece out in them. Reset everything. Wait, did it reset everything? Where was I? This is the one that I just watched. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was gonna watch Hyde and everything. Hyde and Lene. I just hit triangle to download before I was in the right screen. I'm tired, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. 
I really need to eat something. I'm just in that state of mind where, like, I don't have anything prepped. So if I want to eat something, I'm going to have to make it. But I don't want to. I don't want to make anything right now. It's a catch-22. Nice hiccup. No damage. That was a lot of work for not even 2k. That was some Talkaka stuff. Should have respected that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt! This is a bullshit combo. She dead. Rest in peace. Hide is broken. Nerf this character, please. Interesting. I'm surprised. I guess that hit his outstretched limb. I thought for sure Hyde was gonna like, get the antsy here there. That's what I thought happened. Stop hitting buttons, bro. I wonder if that was supposed to be TP and it was just a messed up. Well, on one hand, he stopped pressing buttons, but on the other hand, he also didn't block. No whiff punish either. Probably expected that just to be the projectile. Like, why would she start with that? That'd be my thought, too. Like, I would have expected the projectile there. Oh, oh, that feels good. Ow, that hurts my shoulder. It felt really good on my right shoulder, and it, like, cramped up my left shoulder. It was worth it for how good it felt for the right shoulder, though. Nice antsy air. This is a lot of damage. Gets full corner carry off it, too. Watch the DP. Or the Veil off. Oh, hit confirm block, please. He didn't block! She's been doing something on Wake Up for the past, like, four or five Wake Ups in a row. She hasn't just sat and blocked a single time. So, he should have taken that into account. Should have adjusted. He didn't. And he lost. I'm gonna go for this one. Yeah. Like I have to watch. No, I wanna. You can't make me. <laughs> Sorry, Darius. <laughs> I don't like hide. First <laughs> close. <laughs> I keep being entirely wrong about my assumptions when I see somebody throw it. Like, I thought Volgetime was going to win that for free. He just got kicked in the face. It's a bad look for Vol. Just tossed it right over her head. Gotta aim lower, bro. Not everybody's just giant like you. That must be a special version. Like, that can't be her DP DP, right? Like, I don't think anybody has a reversal that has invincibility that you can cancel on block in this game. So I assume that's just a version of the move that looks like her DP that doesn't have invulnerability. If it does have invulnerability but is normally cancelable on block, that is garbage. And she should not have that. But if there's no invulnerability to it, then whatever. He keeps getting bodied. I don't know what that move is. I don't know a damn thing about Elton. But he keeps getting bodied by that move. Nice counter hit. Miss the hit confirmed though. That's bad. Full screen hit confirm, and she's getting a large amount of damage off of it too. Alright, be careful. He wasn't careful, but he got away with it. 
because she was about to lose the grid in the, the grid war. So I thought for sure she would wake up with chain shift. Very nice reaction. She was waiting for that. It's a good job. Yeah, uh, Vaultstein just didn't respect anything Eldon did. That's what happens. Eldon obviously knew what she was doing. You either gonna respect me, or I'm gonna force you to. Man. All the Enkidus are just gone. Forever in the wind. I think we've gotten now to a point where I believe I've seen all these. Well, whatever. Let's see what happens. The commissary did this. It's his fault. Nobody wants to play the boy anymore. We had a taste of the good life. He took it away. Nice stock kit. Oh, that sucks. Shouldn't charged it. The blocks. We're punished. Interesting. I didn't know you could counter projectile. Maybe that doesn't count as a projectile. I don't know. Very nice. You can't just dash forward like that for free. You gotta be trying to block. Blocks. Just got hit with the overhead. And then he didn't. Really, he finally lost his patience. Threw out a button. This is how I can tell I'm tired. Like, I don't want to sit in the. I just want to just die. Like, I could probably fall over on the ground right now and fall asleep. <laughs> It's kind of where I'm at right now. And there's one good thing, though, about this chair being so uncomfortable. I'll never fall asleep in it. Nice. Yeah, that's... Gotta learn your timing better on that Oki. You can't be facing the wrong way like that. Damn, this is a combo. Dude, this is some blaze blue continuum shift lychee nonsense. Just a 10 minute combo followed by forced Oki that you have to respect. He's dead here as long as he finishes this. Good job. We get a third round. I'm happy. And Kiru didn't just get bodied. So I'm good. Good attempt. Shouldn't have been mashing buttons, bro. Interesting. Why would you not take the hard knockdown? I don't like that. I understand why you don't do it mid-screen, because you don't want to knock them away from you. Nice counter. But when he's right next to you, when you're in the corner, take that knockdown. Take the damage. Attack. But didn't respect the second throw. Hey, well, we get to win with an Enkidu win, so I'll take that. I think if my knowledge of points is correct, it's a shame they don't throw it up there. But if my knowledge of point gains is correct, he would have been knocked up into the 100k club after this one. Unless it shows the points right here afterwards. Oh, forget it. Let's watch it. It's Flareon. You respect Flareon. I haven't seen a replay from him in a while, to be fair, I haven't really been watching these replays for a while. I regret this already. I should not have done this. Turn DP? I wonder if that was supposed to be a DP, but he just got his input crossed up. Because that that's a 2 one four special, right? That's really good proration. I feel like DP shouldn't have 
proration like that. Like, you should get 2k max off a combo. It's my personal biases coming into play, because I don't play characters that have DPs. Except when a studio is just absolutely brain-dead stupid and gives a character that does not deserve a DP a DP, Asriel. Although, to be fair, I barely ever played Asriel in Central Fiction, so I guess that doesn't really count. He did have Growler in Chrono Phantasma, though. So, and I did play him a lot then. But poor Chiago. That is something to aspire to, though. Flareon's the best hide I've ever seen. So it makes sense that a mirror match would not end well for his opponent. Can't believe that. I thought he'd messed up. Damn. Grid broke himself just to have a shot. But yeah. Flareon just too damn good! I'm gonna try to find it. Should I go watch the other Nkidu one? This is such a terrible idea. I'm about to feel really bad for this Nanase. Why does it take so long, though, for that? Like, both times, it took forever for it to load up the screen. It's kind of weird. That's a bummer. <laughs> that stuff, the I wonder if that was supposed to combo. It's lucky for the Nasa. Ooh, we're not lucky anymore. I'm surprised at how often I'm not seeing these Enkidus go for side switches. Cause like they land a hit when their back is basically to the corner and they just take them to mid screen instead of going for the instant side switch. I like it. Good attempt. Oh, still got the whiff punish though with the super. Round win, that's unfortunate. That barely, that like, they basically touched toes right there. And Nase was almost high enough to not get hit by that. Just unlucky for her. My second point. What a 3C, but wasn't expecting it to actually land. Thought she was just gonna go into a block string. It's like right there. Dash under. Bella. The block of the overhead. She went low. That last round when she whipped, that would have put in my head, like, oh, maybe she's not gonna go overhead, but he called it out. Doesn't look like it's gonna matter, though. He try I feel like he tried to maybe 4C that? Because it looked like he was kind of drawing back a little bit. So maybe it was a 4C. That might have also been the start of the counter animation, maybe? Yeah, I think that was what he was something he was going for. Good patience. This is so much damage in the cool. Oh. That was honestly a pretty garbage combo. That should have pretty much instantly gone into double up kicks. And he would have gotten 4k off of it if my knowledge of Enkidu damage is correct. Which, to be fair, it might not be correct anymore. I can't believe she died from that! Poor Nanase! I thought she was gonna live with a, a little sliver. But nope. Enkidu been working out. And Nanase suffered the consequences.